In this video, I'm going to go over some of the design details and machining and materials that went into making this Cyberdyne Automaton. In a previous video, um, I did pewter casting uh, into an ice mold and made a bunch of these uh, robots here. And I had a lot of fun doing that, but they are stationary. They're good as figurines, but I wanted to uh, ar articulate them. I thought that the legs and the head would easily separate from the body, and then I could articulate the head and the legs. And in this case, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm building a little automaton robot here. So I've taken one of the robots and I've cut his legs off and uh, I've made him some uh, little joints here and uh, I made him some arms. I took his arms off and I made his arms here and he's got a little ray gun here that he'll be shooting and then his head uh, I've made that to where it should be able to turn. I've got to work out a mechanism for that. So uh, the idea here is that uh, He's going to be standing up, and this mechanism will drive him. I've been, today I've been working on uh, getting this mechanism together here. This is just some little cams here, and the idea is that the cams will move these arms up and down, and then those arms will be attached to the arms and legs of the robot and will make the robot move. So it'll, he'll have some action to him. I want to make it look like he's marching uh, down the road with his ray gun. He's got business and his head is moving back and forth. So today I uh, machined these uh, arms. Actually it was a pretty simple project. I just cut them out of a little thin piece of aluminum. Uh, manufactured these cams here uh, which will uh, de determine how far the arms uh, swing <clears throat> and uh, put together this, I call it a breadboard here uh, to uh, get the mechanism working correctly. Once I'm happy with the action, then I'll replace the wood with some nicer materials and make a nice base for it. Well, I'm pretty happy with the motion of the arms and legs here. Last little bit of action that I wanted to sort out was the movement of his head. And so the way that's going to work, I have two cams at the bottom and uh, they're going to be cut so that depending on where you are in the cycle, it'll either go left or right at the top. And so his head will just like randomly swivel around and eventually will make it all the way back around to the front as he's marching on humanity and shooting people. So I've got to do some adjustment here. It looks like it wants to stay backwards a lot here. Uh, but there it is back around at the front. So all the cams are loose on the shaft, but I think I'm pretty happy with the action of all the various features. And I think the next order of business will be to lock the camshaft all together. This is what entry level workers do at the bot factory. They hope to get promoted to assembly, but they have to do hard manual labor until they earn their stripes. Got the head mechanism working. This took a fair amount of fiddling to get this just right, but I'm pretty happy with the action. A lot of my brass parts uh, were cut right here on this mini lathe. I'll use these pulleys to transmit rotation from the front shaft to the back shaft. So I'm just uh, machining a center hole here so I can mount these on the little axles. A lot of the parts that I made uh, for the diorama were done on this uh, mini lathe here. Cams, some little bushings and the handle fittings and so forth. Great tool for that kind of work. Off camera, I cross-drilled the little pulleys and installed uh, 
grub screws. You can see the holes and the little screws there. I had to make the screws, uh, but that's how they'll attach to the cross shafts. So now I'm just cutting them off here. And I needed to make them really thin so they would work with the mechanism. Okay, there's one loose, and uh, here we're cutting the other. So there are my little pulleys. Um, I'll sand them a little bit to clean them up. Now it's got two axles. There's one here and there's one in the back and they will both rotate uh, when the handle is cranked. Now I took these two axles and pulleys out in order to find a drive belt uh, and I went over to the Ace Hardware and it turns out a two inch, one sixteenth thickness O-ring is a perfect uh, drive belt for this. So the way it'll work is that you crank the little handle and the pulley will turn the belt and in turn make the other shaft uh, turn as well. So when you crank this back shaft, uh, the pulley will be here and it will transmit motion to the pulley here and it will give motion to this front axle. There's the action with the main bot removed here. So I've added this lever mechanism in the back and uh, this robot that's back there, he's in some stage of assembly and uh, he's just kind of like shrugging his shoulders like, I don't know what's going on here. Hasn't got his final programming yet. And I added a backdrop here. Wanted to give it a factory sort of feel. Uh, this is some of their little tools on hooks here and got this shelf and it'll have various bot parts on it. I find the painting to be very relaxing. I'm using these little testers paints there uh, for modeling I guess. Got them in a yard sale, a whole bunch of them from a guy that built giant ship models and he had a whole bunch of extra paints and I got a real deal on these. He's gonna have a brown body and uh, just kind of this drab olive pair of legs. You know, as you do a project like this, uh, in progress, you see things that you want to do differently when it's really too late. And in doing this video, I thought of other things I could have done with this automaton. So I've got several of these robots left from my casting project, and uh, I've got ideas for two or three more of these little automatons. So I hope you'll stay tuned to my channel and uh, watch for those videos to come out in the coming weeks. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, and uh, be sure and leave me a comment and a like. This is Jimmy from Stewart Arts saying thanks again for watching. Yeah. One, really, one, two. Yeah. Ow! <laughs>